Hey guys, what's up? This is Ryan from DetectApple.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iOS 5.1 device using Red Snow. This is going to work with the iPod Touches, the iPhone 4 and 3GS and the iPad 1. If you have an iPhone 4S or an iPad 2 or possibly the new iPad, if you're viewing this uh, video later than when it came out, you're not going to be able to actually um, jailbreak your device just yet. So here we go, we're going to need Red Snow 0.9.10 Beta 6. You can get this in my description below. You can download it right in there. I'll leave a link to the download link. So let's go ahead and open it up and you're going to have to click Red Snow. Once you open up Red Snow, you can go ahead and X out the past menu and click Jailbreak. Now make sure your device is currently hooked up to your computer and turned off. And on here, it'll basically say that you have to um, have your device turned off and plugged in. And then you could start the process. You're going to click Next, and you're going to have to put your device into DFU mode. So you're basically going to hold the power button up top for around three seconds. And then you can hold the power button and the home button together for around 10 seconds. Once you do that, you can let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. And here we go, we're going to keep holding the home button until the screen pops up telling us we can let go. Here we go, it says identifying, keep holding it, keep holding it, and now you can let go once it says exploiting Lime Rain. And it will upload the first and second stage and we'll wait for the reboot. And our device should actually turn on now and we should see the screen brighten up but the device will not actually turn on and show the Apple logo. Now we're going to have to wait for it to patch the kernel and we'll get the screen right here. It'll basically say install Cydia, install custom bundle, enable battery percentage, and enable multi-test gestures. And we're going to have to make sure install Cydia and enable battery percentage is checked. And any of the others is your personal choice. And then we can click next. And then we're going to wait for the reboot of our phone. It's basically going to download everything onto our phone right now. And it will take everything over to our device and it will install it. So let's wait and wait for that to happen. And there we go. It should say done on our computer right now. And on our device, everything should be going crazy. You should see a bunch of codes on there, a black screen with white writing. And it should start to look weird. It may say, please wait, please play, and everything like that. But there's nothing to worry about. It's actually going to just install the jailbreak right now. This process should take a max of 10 minutes. It really depends on how slow your device is. Now, please note this is not an iPhone 4S or iPad 2 jailbreak, so don't try doing it. It's not going to work, and it could mess up your device if you attempt it. And after everything is done on your device, your device should turn off and automatically restart and you'll see the Apple logo and everything will load up like normal. And you're not going to notice any differences. You're going to notice that there's going to be an icon for Cydia and that's where you're basically going to get all your jailbreak tweaks, themes, and everything and everything of that sort. If you're new to jailbreaking, um, I'll show you how to do that in future videos. So here we go. The device started back up here and we can slide to open it. And then you're going to see Cydia on your main page and you'll be able to open it and you can basically start with your jailbreak. Now guys, tell me what you thought about this in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment and check out detectapple.com for more jailbreak news, Apple updates, and rumors. And I'll see you guys in the next one.